and it's Nancy, but she's got yarn. I'm in my comfy spot, and um, tonight I'm re-watching Jennifer over at Cinnamon Stitches Crochet. Um, no, it's Cinnamon Stitches. <laughs> I change everybody's name. But anyways, you guys know who I'm talking about, but she's doing a crochet along, make along. I'm not sure. It's the Bucky Creek Blanket Piao with Chunky Yarn. And she's using Serenity by Premier. I mean, you can use any chunky yarn, but um, if you have Serenity, she's using, uh, well, she's using the Serenity Chunky, and she is using the Chunky Candy, and I have one color, but I bought a bunch of this color. I wish I would have bought some of the other colors. I don't know, but anyways, I'm happy with this, but so I'm using this. She said she's using two, but maybe three. I haven't, I can't remember. Um, I'm watching the video again. So, um, and yes, I realize I don't need six solid colors. I, I don't know what I was thinking, but that's how it goes with me. My brain's tired. It was really tired, but I got some rest today. So anyways, I got this. I'm gonna use white and I'm gonna use purple. So I'm going to start my chain out in purple. And I'm going to use white in between some of these um, wild colors. I think it'll look good. But that's my style. You know, you can do you. But I'm excited about this blank, this um, crochet along. Thank you, Jennifer. So, but yeah. So I'm going to work on my uh, foundation single crochet. And I'm not real fast at it, but you know what? This chunky yarn, <laughs> it seems to be faster. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. One, two, one. It's multiples of three, she said, so. Hey, y'all. I just want to show you where I am. Um, this is... I'm working on the road on the road two, and then then there's another stitch on the next row. So we got the foundation, single crochet, and then the first row of stitches. It's a single crochet and two double crochets. Skip two, and then repeat. And then the next row will be half double crochet. So it, but this is so squishy. Yes, I can't wait to get to the colors. Jennifer loves color like me. I mean, it, I don't know. It gets me going. I get bored. I love neutral colors, but I get bored making, working with it. And so I have to <sighs> switch out, but I'm excited about this blanket. Thank you, Jennifer. What's cool is you don't have to do like a chain to, you know, in the skip. Just, but I want to hop back on here and show you my progress. I did, too did 78 stitches because this is so, it's like stretchy. So I had to lay it flat and I think we're, we're going to just get by with a thin um, border. So, but, but thank you, Jen. And this is like, you don't have to think too hard. And I think it's going to be a fun blanket for the kids. I really appreciate it. So I'm going to work on this, dedicate my time tonight to this. I did work today on my um, gator, my other boggy blanket. It's coming along. I don't know where it is. It's around here somewhere. <laughs> yeah. 
Y'all, my brooms are a hot mess. My housekeeper didn't come. She's Her husband had some skin cancers removed, so she stayed home. I guess she had to drive him to his appointment, so she didn't come today. But, um, yeah. So I did straighten up a little bit, but I got to... I got a, um, told Shay to come over here on the weekends. I'd pay her extra to help me box up some yarn and, um, you know, help me get my yarn under control. And I need, I need to do those, mis you know, mystery boxes. And she just hasn't had time, so I may have to let's see if I can get, um, Dallas. I know she's a career woman now, but she might come over here. I'll pay her, pay her well to help me. <laughs> Doesn't take much to make a mess. You know, I, you, you guys know, you pull your yarn out and you pull out more than you need to because you may change your mind, you know. So, all right, perfect. Last stitch. Yay. Wait, I didn't go in the, I didn't go in both loops. Let's go in both loops. There. And then two single crochets. There. Hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, the only thing different I'm doing that Jennifer's doing is I'm using a number nine. Um, once I get all my, my rooms reined in and organized, I'll be able to find all my hooks. <laughs> I know I have like four or five sets of clover number eight hook and i've already got that with the other project that i'm doing so yep i'm in my comfy spot this is a spot where i fall asleep easily but anyway so i finished my um foundation row in the first row of clusters shells and then now I'm going to chain one and we're going to do a half double crochet in the first, yeah, there. And did she say every? Wow, and every. So I need to go in that first one. Yep. Okay. So in every single stitch, we're doing a half double crochet. I'm excited. I can't wait to get to the other color. I'm excited. Yep. You guys can't see what I'm doing, can you? I got um, my new... Um, equipment in. I got like three new rings. I bought those big umbrellas. They're just, they're, they take up too much space and these rings do fine. So I got a ring for my roll top that I could, I can like mount it to it and it's above my head when I do lives. And then I got one for my other room. I got one for sitting at a table. It's really neat to do tutorials. So yep, yep, yep. Wish everybody start behaving and I'm going to get on a roll and do tutorials. I hope I start behaving, not really everybody. I've been doing a lot of sleeping in between running ragged. But 
and I'm full of water. <laughs> I feel like I want to bust at the seams. I've drank so much water. But obviously, the doctor wants me to drink more water. It's not that I, I like water. It's just I forget. And, you know, I have, like, these really nice, tall... I have a leopard cup. I have a couple of them. I don't know where they are. They're in my kitchen cabinet somewhere. They're so tall, they don't fit in my cup shelf. So I got to figure out where my husband put them. Because he does the dishes. He's a good man. I quit in the kitchen about, I don't know, a year and a half ago. <laughs> two years ago. I'm like, you guys don't eat when I cook. I've been cooking and cleaning this kitchen for... 30, well, 20 something years. I said, I quit. <laughs> it's your turn. He does it without a problem. Thank goodness he helps me. My back won't allow me to do the dishes. It, my back kills me. Um, my back was bothering me. It's been feeling better today. Um, when we went out to Steen Hatchy to pick up sticks and stuff, I couldn't help. My back, my back hurt so bad. It was like my my eighty year old parents can do more than me. I felt like. This is such a pretty stitch. I wonder what the name of it is. Very pretty. I know Jennifer did did this stitch um in a hat tutorial. Um I don't make a lot of hats because it's hot here, but, and, like, I like headbands. I wear headbands, but I, I need to make some headbands with thin yarn for me. I probably can make some real pretty ones. I've knitted a couple headbands, and the pretty ones, Tiffany snagged. She is not interested in any, really any of my crochet stuff. Maybe one day. Kirkland, she enjoys stuff. You know the next blanket I want to do? Um, I know I got that Barbie dress I got to work on. And I work on all that stuff all the time. But then I get distracted with the, with the blankets, you know. I want to get this blanket done. But we have, you know, we have uh, plenty of time for boggy blankets. But I, I pulled out the sweater and the dress. and uh, But I want to do, I, I also pulled out, let me show you. Oh, I'm knocking on my medicine. Um, I pulled this out. Crochet World. And, um, no, wait, I'm sorry, um, but I'm looking to make a Barbie, um, blanket with granny squares. What did I do with it? I, I got a book and I put markers in it. I don't know. wonder why that stopped working. The light bulb burn out. No, it didn't. Maybe it timed out. I don't know. What did I do with that magazine? Hang on. It's going to drive me crazy. I'm back. I don't know why, but my new ring light keeps turning off. I don't understand. See, it did it again. 
Is it hot? Let's try a different plug. Okay, put another plug. Let's see if it works. Ooh. There, I think that's a little bit better. Anyways, I wanna make a Barbie blanket and I was looking for squares and um, I think I found, I think I know what I wanna do. Um, there's a couple things, projects I, I found I could do, but I wanna do this kind of square with the pink and maybe do hot pink and light pink. And um, then I'm only gonna do a couple motifs and then I'm gonna um, and then I found this kind of a, a daisy flower. I thought that was kind of cool. And then uh, I'm gonna do it all in different shades of pink and white. Oh, where's that other one I found? I wanted to do something with like maybe a heart or maybe a word here. Like here's a heart, but of course I'll do it in different shades of pink. But I started marking off pages. And they've got some circles, you know. Let me see. I think that's all. Or I might do this daisy. I don't know if you can see it. But, um, but yeah. And then I was thinking that like another boggy blanket. Tell me if this is not cool looking here. I'll cover up most of the pattern. Is that not cool looking? And that's the layout. But I was thinking I could do that in that color. And I even thought about maybe different shades of pink. I know I have at least four, maybe five different shades of pink. You know, and just make a real girly, girly blanket. I don't know. I would like to do like a square with a B and... um also a square with maybe the word love or peace or something like that but this is granny square collection it's a nice it's a large magazine i think i bought it at i probably bought it at joann's it says here immediate immedia i don't know from the makers of Simply Crochet. Okay. Get into crafts. But they also have like a square with squares in it. Right there. But yeah. So that's what we're thinking. But look, it, they got a really cool bag on the back of it. Because I want to make a Barbie bag too. And they got some pillows. I could always do a pillow if I don't get to a blanket, you know? But, yeah, I bought some, that pink twinkle. I bought the hot pink and I bought the light pink. And I've got, what is it? Something by Nicole. I found a beautiful pink that I have. It's big skeins. I've got all kinds of different pinks in my yarn room so but yeah so that's what I plan on doing eventually so now let's get back to this boggy project because I'm fixing to change colors 
stickers. I'm excited. All right, half double crochet. I love this. It's a simple stitch and I love doing greenies. I have actually a ton of greenies. I've got a whole box full of them, pink, all different colors. And I need to sew those together. I tell you, Nina over at Nina's Knots Crochet, she's she's a trooper, man. Sewing all those, she loves to sew all those crochet squares together and she's knocking it out. And I need to get mine in the mail. I've got them. And plus, I'm sending her the 17 that um, Mad Mimi challenged everybody. Okay. My. Mm -hmm. So chain one, no, we got to change colors. So when you change colors, I feel like I'm missing a stitch at the end. I guess it's okay. It'll fill out once I get the yarn in there. I'm putting my boggy project in this bag. Got to keep track. All right. Looks so I got like four projects right around me right now. Uh-oh. Yarn barf. The white, I couldn't get it to come out, so I'm, I'm just using it from the outside and stuffed it in that bag. All right, chain one. And so, do a single crochet, double crochet. You just repeat. That's awesome. This is cool. But look at these colors. See, there's a purple in it right there. I don't know if you guys can see the purple in the top there, but yeah, there's purple in there. So, but I was going to use a third color, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, the third color would be white. It's going to alternate, so... We will see. But yeah. Jen, thank you for this. <laughs> this oh no. I have more colors. I just can't find them. I know I have more colors. I can see them. And I just recently moved them. I just don't know where I put them. It could be in one of those storage bags. It was a temporary thing till I got those shelves up in that other room. So I got to get cracking on that other room. Yeah, that's for sure. All right. Well, anyways, there we go. Look at how pretty that is. That's beautiful. And I'll come back and share with you more of this. Yep. There was something else I wanted to share with you guys and now I can't remember. It was the grannies. I shared that with you. Yeah, I think that's it. But anyways, I'll see you guys when I get a good ways through this. Love you. Hey y'all. It's the next morning. <laughs> um, I've only gotten this much done. I had to, I made a mistake way down here and I had to frog all of this. So, but I've 
it's it's easy to do. I'm gonna pack up this yarn in this uh, project bag and head to the hospital here shortly. I'm waiting for a phone call from my daughter and then I'm gonna pack up and go to the hospital. But isn't that pretty? Look how pretty that is. I was gonna use white at some point, but I kind of like this. So I'll use white for the border. So anyways, all right, guys, I will share more with you in another video. Y'all have a wonderful day. I love you guys and ignore the mess in the background. <laughs> it's cups of coffee <laughs> and water. <laughs> love y'all.